God interrupted your scrolling for a very important reason. Stick around and let's get this word. You know, there are moments in life that actually can define our identity. Whether it's trauma, whether it's something that happened that completely knocked you off course, whether it's good, bad, awful, in between, but each of them play a very, very big role in who we are. And here's the thing, each thing that we go through actually plants a seed of some sort. And here's what God was showing me. Normally, it starts as an offense, but then grows into unforgiveness, then bitterness, then full-blown hate, which then completely shrivels everything down into death. But how do we stop this vicious cycle? And how do we get rid of the root of all addiction, depression, anxiety, anger, hate, all of it, everything. The root is this very thing. And let's talk about it. First, let's take a look at what Jesus said. But I want to look at the Greek word first for something very, very important. You ready? Take a quick screenshot of this. But it's pronounced afiemi, which means to remit or to forgive. So what does that have to do with any of this? What does that have to do with bitterness? What does that have to do with anger? I'm glad you asked. So this is what Jesus was saying. He said this, and with that, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now, just as Jesus started off in verse 22 saying, he breathed the Holy Spirit onto them. I, I pray the same for you. I pray that the Holy Spirit will breathe on you today. That, that there will be a new wind being blown into your situation right now. And so I picked that verse very strategically. And I think Jesus did that very strategically as well. But beginning in verse 23, we see our Greek word. Now what Jesus is saying is that we must forgive so we can be forgiven. And we gotta remember that when we forgive, it's not letting them off the hook. It's not acting like they didn't do it because they did. Yes, they really hurt you and, and I get it. And you may have even sworn that you would never forgive them, but I wanna challenge you today. And if you could just type in the chat to say, I'm ready to forgive. Now, this is the thing. Nobody gives a forgiveness 101 class. Nobody talks about how do we forgive? But let me just tell you today, it is by faith that you forgive. It is by faith, the same faith that you used to say that Jesus died on the cross, the same faith that you used to say, yes, Jesus is real, that's how you forgive that person. And this is what I found, that addiction, anxiety, depression, anger, bipolar, all the things, every single thing, their root is in unforgiveness. And I can say in my own life that unforgiveness was literally the root of my addiction. So when it boils down to it, I was just trying to satisfy my depression and lull my anger. But once I said, I forgive, and you put in the blank. You can, you can start praying through this today and by faith, forgive that person that hurts you. And by faith, you can say, you know what, God? I, I need you to, to shift my faith to say, I forgive that person. Just drop in the comments right now, I forgive to be forgiven. And remember, it's not letting them off the hook. It's actually freeing you. I pray that today that you are able to forgive that person that hurts you. I pray that today the Holy Spirit breathes a new wind on you so that way you can experience freedom from the darkness of unforgiveness. So even deeper than that, you have to forgive yourself. So just type in the comments right now, say, I forgive myself. All right, so let's go back into the Old Testament for a second and I wanna show you something. But first, 
Let me show you the Hebrew word for forgive. The Hebrew word for forgive, which is pronounced nasa. Just take a screenshot of that so you got that in your phone. Now I know we're all familiar with the story of Joseph and maybe one day I'll do a series just on the story of Joseph. But for right now, let's go to Genesis 50, 17. This is what you are to say to Joseph. I ask you to forgive your brothers the sins and the wrongs they committed in treating you so badly. Now please forgive the sins of the servants of God of your father. When their message came to him, Joseph wept. So Joseph had every single reason to be mad at his brothers. I mean, they threw him in a cistern, sold him into slavery. I mean, literally ruined his life. But they thought they were ruining his life. But it ended up being one of Joseph's greatest comeback moments right in this moment. So Joseph wept, right? But then he forgave them. He forgave them. So what's the moral of the story? And what is the point of what I'm trying to tell you? Is that your comeback, that your, your greatest season of your life starts when you forgive. So just rejoice today because you are closer to your, to your new season, to your new beginning. You're closer to it than you think because you're already, by faith, you're forgiving that person. By faith, you're already putting that in the past. By faith. And listen, I love you so much, okay? I, I'm so proud of you. And I just want to pray over you right now before this video ends. I want to say, Lord Jesus, I ask that you help this person right here see that they are closer to their new beginning. Lord, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that you would show them how easy it is to forgive. Lord, I ask now that you would break them free in that season of unforgiveness, in that darkness of unforgiveness, be gone right now in Jesus' mighty name. Listen, I love you so much. I hope you're having a great day. If you would, please subscribe and follow me if you're not already. Go ahead and smash that like button and go ahead and type in the chat. Say this, say, God, help me forgive. I love you. See you on the next one.